For residential, uh, commercial, or ag building projects, call on Wolf Construction LLC of Lancaster. Todd Wolf and his crew pride themselves in providing full service for their customers at the highest of quality. Wolf Construction LLC of Lancaster, proud to back our local athletes. Sports is presented by Battery CFP, your Edward Jones financial advisor in Platteville. Are you selling your farm? Give Ben a call. Member SIPC, located by Nutrition World on highways 80 and 81 in Platteville. For 75 years, Topeka Credit Union has been more than local. It's a member-owned, not-for-profit cooperative, and it's grown into a vital community resource to help members build a life worth loving. Topeka membership is something special. When you join Topeka, you're not just a member, you're an owner. That means your money stays right here, enriching the lives of your friends, neighbors, and the community you call home. Topeka strives to carry out the mission envisioned by its founders. Ten meatpacking employees came to Together, believing in the simple philosophy of people helping people and the core value still guides DePaco today advocating for not just financial wellness but overall well-being while celebrating 75 years of service to members DePaco remains true to its original mission working diligently to empower every member to lead a fulfilling life creating a brighter community for all to learn more about DePaco and how to become a member go to depaco.com slash join DePaco is federally insured by NCUA Join the team. Southwest Tech in Fenimore is looking to fill the following positions on campus. Open positions include full-time associate degree nursing instructor and part-time child care aid subs, full-time electrical power distribution lab housing assistant, and part-time motorcycle safety adjunct instructor. SWTC puts their students and community first. Their benefits and compensation are unmatched. Apply now at swtc.edu. Southwest Tech, this is where you belong. Equal opportunity affirmative action employees. Lawyer. You give 110% at work and in the game. So why not give 110% yeah, right. to get a beautiful, healthy smile? Schedule your routine checkups and any major dental care at Cuba City Family Dental and Keeler Family Dental. They'll help you maintain a beautiful smile, along with daily brushing and flossing for healthy teeth and gums. Call today to schedule your checkup. And if you have any problems with your teeth, make an appointment with Cuba City Family Dental and Keeler Family Dental. Keep smiling, Tri-States. This is a Queen Bee Radio High School Sports Presentation. Queen Bee Radio proudly brings you Grant Regional Health Center and People State Bank coverage of high school sports. Presented by Myers Heating and Cooling and Wolf Construction. And sponsored by Claire Bank, Cuba City Family Dental, Culver's of Dubuque, Galena, and Platteville, and Word Jones representative Ben Reeves and Elena Reeves, Fuller's Milker Center, Nutrition World, The Peterson Agency, Raleigh Cheese, The Shoebox, and Tricor Insurance. Good evening and welcome to Lancaster High School. Rob Spangler bringing you a high school girls sectional semifinal. Platteville versus Prairie du Chien. Welcome board. This is our sectional semifinal tonight here on Extreme 1071. The X also streaming worldwide at x1071.com and on our Queen Bee Radio Sports YouTube channel, which means you can actually watch the action as we call it on your radio or your streaming device. So again, you can stream the game on Extreme 1071 and on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel. We've got the video as well to go along with it tonight. Looking forward to it. This is a big one. Prairie, again, taking on Platteville. These two teams have, of course, met twice already in the SWC. Prairie Duchene has come up on the plus side of those matchups both times. But as they say, hard to beat a team, the same team, three times in one season. Can Platteville pull off the upset tonight? We're going to find out. This is Grant Regional Health Center People State Bank coverage of high school girls basketball presented by Wolf Construction and Myers Heating and Cooling. And I'm Rob Spangler coming to you from the Wolf Construction broadcast booth. The booth tonight happens to be on the stage here at Lancaster High School. This is the Raleigh Cheese pregame show presented by Raleigh Cheese at the intersections of highways 11 and 23 in the heart of Lafayette County. 
don't forget the cheese. We'll take a quick look at these two teams, what they've done this season, where they're at heading into this postseason matchup, and we'll also, of course, have the Nutrition World Health and Wellness starting lineup. That's all on the way right after this break. It's a Raleigh Cheese pregame show, Platteville versus Prairie du Chien, live from Lancaster. A sectional semifinal in girls' high school basketball here on the X Extreme 1071. Pre-game one. Brant Regional Health Center's ortho team, Dr. Brad Binsfeld and Nate Stoko, PAC, provide exceptional care for sports-related injuries. Brant Regional Health Center. Experience the difference. Louisa May Alcott's classic novel of the March sisters, Little Women, is coming to the Grand Opera House in Dubuque February 24th through March 5th. In this stage adaptation, aspiring writer Joe March and her sisters Meg, Beth, and Amy do their best to make ends meet as they navigate the road to adulthood. Struggling to reconcile societal expectations with their own hopes and dreams, the girls are held together by bonds of loyalty and love. Tickets for Little Women February 24th through March 5th are on sale now at the Grand Box Office and at thegrandoperahouse.com. Heat, power, and water are things people cannot take for granted. The elderly, disabled, the veterans. With record increases in basic costs of living, people are struggling to keep these services on and their bills paid. If you are in danger of losing heat, power, or water, call 1-800-506-5596 or apply online at heat.help. You may not ask for it, but the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. For residential, commercial, or ag building projects, call on Wolf Construction LLC of Lancaster. Todd Wolf and his crew pride themselves in providing full service for their customers at the highest of quality. Wolf Construction LLC of Lancaster, proud to back our local athletes. When Mother Nature, or bad luck, messes up your vehicle, it doesn't have to get worse. Taylor Weber with Abra Auto Body shares how they ease the pain of repair. We assist with all of the insurance paperwork, so as long as you have the claim started, we can handle the claim after that. We offer loaner cars, and we have a lifetime warranty on all work performed. We try to make the process as painless as possible. Abra Auto Body, a division of Anderson Weber Toyota. When you're ready. Pre-game one. Welcome back to Lancaster High School. Rob Spangler bringing you a sectional semifinal. Girls High School basketball. Platteville Hillman taking on the Prairie du Chien Blackhawks. Let's take a look at these two teams. First for the Platteville Hillman, they finished the year a very good 20-6 and six record. 8-2 and two in the SWC. And, of course, those two losses, yep, you know who they were to. They were to. Prairie du Chien. The last time these two teams met was back on February 7th, a game that Prairie won in Prairie by a score of 44 to 38, so a close one. But looking at Platteville, coming into this, they're on a two-game, make it a three-game winning streak. Uh, their last three wins, Thursday, February 16th, they were at, uh, <laughs> I just got a text, they were at River Valley and won 64 to 41. That was again on February 16th. Then against Edgewood on Friday, February 24th, the Hillman won 50 to 48 in their regional. And then, of course, uh, that was a regional semi. And then in the regional championship back on Saturday, February 25th, they won over Edgerton 39 29. And that has them here taking on Prairie du Chien. Now, Prairie. They have a record of 21 and 4 on the regular season, a perfect 10 and 0 in SWC conference play. Uh, let's take a look at their road here to this sectional semifinal. A quick look through the playoffs and, of course, their last few wins uh, before this matchup. Prairie du Chien's last loss came in January at on Alaska back on January 10th. So they've done nothing but win since then. And their first, last few games, of course, have been playoff games. Playoffs, as the Prairie du Chien Blackhawks have been victorious. First in the opening round of regionals over Dodgeville, 47-32. to 32. That was in the regional semis. And then in the regional championship last Saturday, they beat Columbus 54-38. to 38. And that sets them up with this matchup against Platteville tonight. But let's look at those Platteville games, too. As you know, Prairie du Chien won both of them. The last matchup on February 7th, 44-38. That was at Prairie du Chien. Well, let's take a look at the game earlier in the season, which was in Platteville. That was back on December 8th. 
51 to 39 was the score, so it was a bit more emphatic in that game at Platteville High School, the win for Prairie Duchene. But again, the second time around back on February 7th, a much closer game, 44 to 38. So you get the feeling, and I know you can't judge games by what was done in the past, but you get the feeling Platteville is kind of catching up and catching on maybe to Prairie Duchene. Obviously, the Hillmen are hoping that's what they can do here tonight. That's a quick look at these two teams, where they're at, and uh, how they finish the regular season and the early part of the playoffs. Again, Prairie 21-4, perfect 10-0 in the SWC Conference Champs. Platteville 20-6, 8-2 in the SWC, and runners-up in the Southwest Wisconsin Conference. We'll take one more timeout and be back with our Nutrition World starting lineup and the opening tip right around the corner, live from Lancaster High School. Rob Spangler here in the Wolf Construction Broadcast booth. This is the Raleigh Cheese pregame show. It's at the intersections of highways 11 and 23 in the heart of Lafayette County. Don't forget the cheese. Do want to mention, too, tonight's game is being broadcast on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel tonight as well. So you can, you can actually watch the video stream and listen to our play-by-play -play call here on Extreme 1071 and X1071.com. And, of course, on, your, on our mobile app, which is what I monitor with all the time. It's a great mobile app. And on your smart speaker, Alexa, as well. All right, we'll take a quick timeout and be back live from Lancaster High School, our sectional semifinal. Platteville taking on Prairie to Sheet here at Lancaster High School on Extreme 1071. You give 110% at work and in the game. So why not give 110% to get a beautiful, healthy smile? Schedule your routine checkups and any major dental care at Cuba City Family Dental and Keeler Family Dental. They'll help you maintain a beautiful smile, along with daily brushing and flossing for healthy teeth and gums. Call today to schedule your checkup. And if you have any problems with your teeth, make an appointment with Cuba City Family Dental and Keeler Family Dental. Keep smiling, Tri-States. Join the team. Southwest Tech in Fenimore is looking to fill the following positions on campus. Open positions include full-time associate degree nursing instructor and part-time child care aide subs, full-time electrical power distribution lab flag. housing assistant, Where's and part-time motorcycle safety adjunct instructor. Oh, SWTC okay. puts it. their students Sound and like... community first. Their <laughs> benefits and compensation are unmatched. Apply now at swtc.edu. Southwest Tech, this is where you belong. Equal opportunity affirmative action employer. This is Doug Dolter with Dubuque Mattress. Dubuque Mattress was voted best place to buy a mattress for many reasons, but one of them was best price. Because Dubuque Mattress is a mattress factory, we are truly factory direct. We cut out the cost of the minimum. And because of our volume, we have the most buying power. I personally guarantee that Dubuque Mattress is 10 to 40% less than any other mattress store in town. Find us on Highway 20 directly across from Tyson's. Dubuque Mattress for the rest of your life. Dubuque Mattress Factory, you get a little snooze time. Is he reading my mind? That's amazing. Brian Imbus presents Miracles of the Mind, Saturday, March 4th at Bell Tower Theater in Dubuque. Hi, this is Brian Imbus. My award-winning mentalist performance will have you wondering, is mind reading real? I look forward to seeing you all for a night of fun that will leave you mesmerized. Brian Imbus, Miracles of the Mind, at Dubuque's Bell Tower Theater for one night only, Saturday, March 4th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at belltowertheater.net. Just beware, Brian Imbus is reading your mind. Pre-game two. Welcome back to Lancaster High School. Rob Spangler on Extreme 1071, the X, streaming worldwide at x1071.com. And, of course, on your mobile app. And tonight, we're coming to you. Wow, as they turn out the lights for the starters. That's pretty cool. As we come to you streaming on our Queen Bee Radio Sports YouTube channel, which just got a little bit dark at the moment. All right, I might need... 
<laughs> I may need to turn on the flashlight function on my phone because it is dark in here now. There we go. Well, it looks cool, <laughs> but yes, it's pitch black inside Lancaster High School Gymnasium. Boy, what a packed gymnasium tonight. Fans from both Platteville and Vray Desheen packing the gym. All right, as soon as they turn the lights on, I will be able to tell you what's going on here. I, I apologize. Uh, all right, let's turn those lights on, guys. Come on now. We're done with the starters. Let's go. There we go. All right, I can see now. I'm getting old. All right, here are the starters for Platteville. We got number five. That is Lizzie Poehler. Also number 23. That is Alyssa Blevins. Number 12, Cameron Nice. Let's see who else we got starting for the Hillman. Well, we're going to take you to center court for the jump. We'll get you the starters in a second. As I was blacked out. Number 24, Ellie Temperley. And also, finally, number 14, that's Gwyneth Erickson. Opening tip one by Prairie Desheen. And the Prairie Desheen Blackhawks have it first. They're wearing their white jerseys. Here comes a three from the top of the key. That one's no good by Tegan Radloff. Rebound taken up by Platteville. Here are the starters, the rest of them for Prairie. Number 20, Ashlyn Knapp. Also number 14, that's Tana Radloff. Number 24, Shayla Straka. Number uh, 22, Tegan Radloff. There's a jumper from the left wing fired up by number 12. That's Cameron Nice. And bringing the ball back up, it's number 20, Ashlyn Knapp for Prairie Duchene. I think we got all the starters in there. Note one more, number 40, McKenna Ford. A uh, 40, rather, excuse me. Ball is loose, we got a jump ball as it's tied up. And a possession arrow favors Platteville. So the Hillman get it back. <laughs> With that no lights thing just threw me for a loop. All right, here we go, Hillman ball. Getting set to take the inbound is Cameron Nice. She'll dribble the ball up the floor. Now swings it off to the right side to Lizzie Pauler. Pauler bounce pass down to the right side to Madison Carl. Carl looking to get rid of it. Finally does. And driving the lane, it's Cameron Nice. She sets up back at the top of the key for Platteville. Now swings it off to the right wing to Madison Carl. Carl drives the lane, lost the handle for a second, gets it back, it goes out of bounds. Last touched by Prairie. It'll stay Hillman basketball on the baseline right of the hoop. Scoreless game, 16.36 to go. We're in the first half just underway here from Lancaster High School. Sectional semi, girls high school basketball, Platteville and Prairie. Inbound, taken in a quick shot attempt, no good by Madison Carl. Rebound taken by Prairie Desheen. Getting the board, number 14, Tana Radloff. She'll outlet and bring it up. It is Ashlyn Knapp. Knapp controls out on the left wing for the Blackhawks. Stops her dribble, top of the key. Now passes off to the right wing to McKenna 40. 40 drives in. Turnaround jumper in the paint, no good. But offensive rebound and a putback is good by Shayla Straka. First basket of the game, and it's 2-0 Prairie. As the Prairie Desheen faithful explode. This gym is like a powder keg tonight. Bringing it up here on the near side. Number five, that's Lizzie Pauler. Reverses it. Three-pointer. Left wing, no good. That one fired up by Madison Carl. Rebound, Prairie Desheen. Quickly, up the floor. Finger roll, too strong by Tanner Radloff. Rebound, offensive board by Prairie. It's tied up. Inside, Ashland Knapp had it in the paint. The jump ball possession arrow favors Prairie Desheen, so the Blackhawks hang on. And a sub comes in for Platteville. Off the bench, it is number 34, Haley Weagle. 2-0. 
Prairie du Chien on top, 15-40 to play. First half just underway here from Lancaster High School, the sectional semifinal. Two heated rivals. Prairie won both games in the regular season. Here comes a shot and a block. 40 had it blocked out of bounds. They say she was the last to touch it. I'm a little surprised at that. And that will give the ball right back to the Hillman. So Platteville ball inbounding is Haley Weagle. She'll throw it in to Cameron Nice. Nice facing a three-quarter court trap here. Reverses it over to the right to Lizzie Pauler. Pauler gets it across the timeline finally. Up ahead to Haley Weagle. Oh, we have a travel. This will be a turnover on Platteville, their first. It's 2-0. Prairie Deschines on top, 15-18 to go, and Prairie gets it back. Rob Spangler coming to you from Lancaster High School. Inbound play. Far side in front of the Platteville student section. Shayla Straka inbounds it and controlling his nap once again for Prairie. She'll pass it off out to the right wing to Tanner Radloff. Dribbles off a screen. Now passes off to the left side to Knapp. Knapp dribble drive baseline. Kicks it out. Top of the key controlling Radloff. Now rotates over. 43 back iron. No good. Offensive board again for Prairie. And Early in this game, to me, the stat that's standing out is the offensive rebounds from Prairie Desheen. They've had several, even though they only have two points. There was a foul there on Platteville. It's charged to Haley Weagle, her first. The first team foul of the game, first foul against anybody tonight. Inbound pass taken by Radloff, entry to 40. She missed a shot attempt, and the rebound goes to Platteville here. Bringing it up is Cameron Nice for the Hillman. Clearing out traffic, crosses the timeline, being guarded one-on-one -on -one by Knapp. It's a man-to-man -man D being implemented by Prairie. Out on the right wing, dribble drive and a shot, and traffic is good. Lizzie Pauler, the floater in the paint goes, and it's tied at two. A 14-26 remaining here in this first half. Prairie Desheen up the floor quickly, 40 in the paint, shot partially blocked. They call a foul, though, and she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. I think that's Haley Weagle's second foul in a row. Actually, looks like they're going to charge it to Ellie Temperley. Yeah. So it's her first, team foul number two. First free throw, no good by McKenna Forty. Thanks for tuning in tonight here on Extreme 1071. Also streaming worldwide at x1071.com on our mobile app and on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel. Second free throw is good by 40. And it's 3-2, Prairie Duchene with a one-point lead. Platteville, again facing some three-quarter court press here. Cameron Nice brings it up far sideline. She stepped out of bounds. That'll be a turnover on the Hillman. Good pressure by Prairie Duchene. By the way, our color sponsor, Cuba City Family Dental, Dental and Keeler Family Dental, where the colors are always bright white without putting your finances in the red. Prairie in their whites with maroon trim. Platteville in their maroons with the white trim. So <laughs> inverse color schemes. Although Platteville's maroon is, at least in the basketball jerseys, is, is definitely redder. It's a more reddish maroon. Ball out on the right wing, controlling number 14. That is Tana Radloff. Now to 40. 40 powers it up. Baseline left and scores. 5-2, Prairie Desheen by three. And a steal. This one, and a layup, good. The steal by Tana Radloff, and she scores. And it's 7-2, all of a sudden, Prairie out to a five-point lead. Platteville needing to settle things down here. They do, they get it into the front court, but now the ball is stolen away. It's picked off by Madison Carl, outlet, and a layup by Tana Radloff. And we're going to have a timeout taken on the floor by Platteville which I think is the smart thing to do. This is just a 30-second timeout. So we'll keep it here to thank some of our sponsors, including some of these late-coming sponsors that uh, I got via text message. Didn't even make it on the sheet tonight. They include RPM Automotive and Prairie Duchesne. Are you heading, having car trouble? RPM Automotive fixes everything. And they have loaner cars, RPM Automotive, in Prairie Duchesne. There we go. Also... Now we'll look at our actual sheet thingy with sponsors that made it in in time. They include Lori Dressler Real Estate. Lori Dressler Real Estate salutes the Platteville team success this year. Make home, more happen, make home happen rather, with Lori Dressler Real Estate at lauridressler.com. 
out of the media timeout. 9-2. Prairie Desheen leading by 7. 13-16 to play. Here in the first half, Platteville has it. They need to get something going offensively, but they also need to break this three-quarter court press. Cameron Nice gets it across the timeline. And another turnover on Platteville as stepping out of bounds was number 23, Alyssa Blevins. That's a third turnover in the game so far in this first half by Platteville. Too many turnovers early, and Prairie's been making them pay. Now bringing the ball up the floor, it's Knapp for the Blackhawks. Passes it off left wing. That's number 34, Madison Baumgartner. Excuse me, number 24, Shayla Straka. Driving the lane now, putting up a runner. It's no good. Tanner Radloff rebound to Platteville. Platteville running in transition. It's Madison Carl. Dribbles deep into the corner. It's on the left corner, and the ball is knocked out of bounds. There's a foul, a reach in on Prairie Duchene. That'll be their first foul, first team foul. Charge to, let's see, number 10. That's Tessa Chekakowski higgins Off the inbound play, taking it as nice for Platteville. Swings it over to the right wing. Number 22, Madison Carl. Ooh, top of the key, there's a collision. Coming away with the ball, number 34. That is Haley Weagle, so Platteville hangs on. A lot of contact on that collision, no foul call. Ball over on the right wing to Weagle. Passes it up, top of the key. Number 14, Gwyneth Erickson. Now in the corner here to Nice. Back out to Carl. Carl, left wing, gives it back to Nice. Nice. Think that's a turnover. Intended to pass it to number 14, Gwyneth Erickson, but overshot her. Throws it out of bounds, another turnover on Platteville. Their fourth in this first half, unofficially none on Prairie Duchene thus far. Now a couple subs come in for Prairie. Number four, Greenlee Cron checks in off the bench, number four. And is that it? Yeah, I believe just Greenlee. Knapp brings it up the floor for Prairie. Behind the back dribble, now passes down low, posting up 40, 40. Spin move off the window, missed it. Rebound Blevins for Platteville. Gives it back to the point, and it's Cameron Nice bringing it up here for the Hillman. Gives it off to Carl. Carl dribbling left sideline, a pass underneath and a travel. Yet another turnover on the Hillman. Their fifth sub comes in off the bench for Platteville. It's number five, that is Lizzie Pollard. Nine to two, that is our score here early. Prairie Duchene on top of Platteville. 11.34 to go in the first half. Inbound pass taken by Knapp. She'll bring the ball up the floor for the Blackhawks. Passes it up to Higgins. Higgins out on the left wing. Looking for somebody to pass it to. Now swings it back to Knapp on the right wing. Knapp back over to Higgins. Passes off right side to Cron. Cron, entry pass. A little bit too strong. It is on the floor. That was intended for Straka. And it's tied up, and what do we have here? It looks like a jump ball. Yeah. Possession arrow should favor the Hillman, I believe. Yes. Sub comes in off the bench for Prairie Duchene. That's number 22, Tegan Radloff. So Radloff back into the game. Inbound pass to Carl here for the Hillman. Gives it back to Nice. Cameron Nice crosses the timeline here. Met by Knapp. Swings it off to the right wing to Carl. Carl, backdoor pass to Nice. Beautiful. Lays it up for two. Beautiful backdoor cut by Cameron Nice. Little give and go game. And gets a desperate bucket for the Hillman. They needed that. Nine to four. Platteville within five. 10.41 to play here in the first half. Prairie basketball. Blackhawks controlling top of the key. It's Knapp. Swings it over to the right side to Radloff. Now a long three by Knapp. Back iron no good. Rebound boarded up by the Hillman. It's Carl. Outlet pass. And bringing it off on the right side is Pollard. Lost the handle. It's tied up. And we're going to have, I think, a reach in. No, we're going to have a travel. A travel on Prairie Duchene, which would be their first turnover. I'm almost surprised at that. Inbound play coming for the Hillman, and Cameron Nice to inbound right of the hoop 
Baseline gets it into Blevins. It's on the floor. Blevins gets it out somehow to Carl. Carl drives in. She's double team. Passes and a little drop step and a bucket and one by number 24, Ellie Temperley. That's her first basket and the and one. So she has a chance at a three-point play here. It makes it 9-6, and she can pull the Hillman within one. That foul was committed by Tegan Radloff. Free throw is good. So Temperley hits the three-point play. It's 9-7. Prairie by two, 10.05 to go, first half. Pass up the floor is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Hillman, so it will be... Prairie basketballs inbound from the baseline. Inbounding is Knapp. Ashlyn Knapp, senior for Prairie Deschene, looking to inbound it. Finally does to Cron. Now back to Knapp. Knapp looking to attack. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Rebound boarded up by Platteville. It's Poller. Poller looking to bring the ball up in transition, and she's fouled. It's going to be a reach in. I think 40, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like it's on 40. McKenna 40. And it's Platteville ball. They again trail 9 to 7. Sub comes in for Prairie. In for Cron. It is Tana Radloff. Pollard walks it up the floor for the Hillman. Looking to go inside to Temperley. And Temperley is fouled on the floor. Foul charge to number 22. That's Tegan Radloff. Radloff will come out of the game in for her. It is Shayla Straka for Prairie. Platteville inbound from the baseline, throwing it in for the Hillman. Nice. Left to the hoop. Gets it into Blevins. Blevins back to Nice. Nice drives the lane. Floater off the glass. Missed it. Rebound boarded up by Carl. Offensive rebound for Platteville. Carl down the lane. Turnaround. Short on the shot. Little jumper in the lane. No good. Still 9-7. Prairie Duchene leading Platteville, 9.20 to go, first half. Knapp brings it up, swings it off to the left side. It is Higgins, back out to 40. 40 on the left wing, drives the lane, spin move, up, missed it. Rebound boarded up by Nice. Nice, long pass to Blevins down the floor, and it's tipped away and stolen by McKenna. 40, she'll pass it off to Knapp. Knapp down the lane, she's fouled. Going to be a reach in. Either Nice or Carl. I think the official's actually conferring to see who it was. It looks like it's on Nice. So Cameron Nice picks up her first personal. Team foul number three here in this first half. A couple subs come into the game for the Hillman. Back in, number 14, Gwyneth Erickson. And let's see who else checked in. Number 34, Haley Weagle. Inbound pass taken top of the key by Higgins. For Prairie, gives it to Knapp, almost lost it. Pulls it back out. Now a dribble drive right side. I think we got a blocking foul, okay. It was either a block or a travel because there was contact, but there was, uh, I believe, the the uh, attacker for Prairie, number 24, Shayla Straka, did travel, but they say she was fouled, and it was by number five, Lizzie Pollard. And she hits the first one. 10-7, three-point lead, Prairie Duchene. Sub back in, Cron checks back in for Prairie. Second free throw is good. So both free throws fall, 11-7. Blackhawks leading Hillman. 8.44 to go, first half. Platteville across the timeline. Setting up top of the key here, Pauler. Pauler dishes over to the left wing. It's Weagle, baseline drive. And they kick it back out. Open three look by Pollard. Missed it. Put back in the lane. No good, but a foul. Great offensive rebound by Haley Weagle under the hoop. She got the ball off the miss, put it back up, and drew the foul. So Haley Weagle to shoot two. Foul, charge to number 14, Tana Radloff of Prairie de Chien. First free throw is good. One more free throw coming up for Weagle. That's her first point of the game. 11-8. Second free throw is good, too. 
Both of these teams shooting the ball from the free throw line well tonight thus far. This one free throw miss. Out of seven. 11 to nine, Prairie du Chien by two. Inbound pass, taken by Knapp, almost had it stripped away by Pollard. Now outlet pass, and in transition, foul. Shot blocked, Shayla Straka in the lane, draws the foul. Two shots coming up, I believe Gwyneth Erickson charged. Actually, nope, Ellie Temperley is gonna pick it up. That'll be her second. Team foul number five. Both teams now with five fouls in this first half thus far. 8-19 to play in the half. First free throw, no good by Straka. She had, she hit her last two. Temperley checks out in for her Blevins for the Hillman. 11-9, two-point lead for Prairie. One more free throw from Straka here. Missed it. That looks like there was a lane violation anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. So stays 11 to 9. Prairie Duchene by 2. 8.17 to play in the first half. Rob Spangler from Lancaster High School. It's a sectional semifinal girls high school basketball. Pollard has it here on the near side. Left wing. Drives in. Stops her dribble. Lost the handle. Knapp with a steal and a breakout the other way. But then it's stolen right back by Platteville. But they call a travel on Nice. Nice stole it. And then they called a travel. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't see that travel because she stole it and then immediately passed it, but must have shuffled the feet somehow. It did happen on the far side of the court, so I didn't get a good, good look at it. Inbound play taken by number 24, Shayla Straka of Prairie. Now gives it to Knapp, top of the key. 7.53 to go in the first half. It's 11-9, low-scoring battle going on. Cron drives the lane, she's fouled. like that foul is a reach-in on, I believe, Haley Weagle. Yes, her second. Weagle actually subs out in for her. It's Madison Carl for the Hillman. 11-9 again. Prairie leading off the inbound, taking it out on the right wing. Shayla Straka to Higgins. Now they rotate to Knapp. Knapp, a little stiff arm. Passes underneath the Cron. Shot blocked, but it goes out of bounds off Platteville. From behind, I believe Carl's the one who swatted that away. 11-9 still. Prairie by two. 7.34 to play. First half off the inbound here. Looking, looking. They finally get it into Cron way out there. Now passes underneath. Tanner Radloff, reverse layup. She traveled. That'll be a turnover, a rare turnover on Prairie Desheen. Sub comes into the game for Prairie. It's 40. She'll come in for Radloff, who just turned it over. 11 to 9 still. Platteville by two, or uh, Prairie by two, rather. Platteville with the basketball. Cameron Nice bringing it up, swings it over to Pollard. Back to Nice. Across the half court timeline. Now passes to Carl. Out on the right wing, stops her dribble, gives it back to Pollard. Pollard, top of the key. Pollard, little crossover dribble, spin move, in the lane, off the window, couldn't get it. That was a nice nifty move, but couldn't get it to go. Prairie ball, nap, outlet, in transition. Here's a foul, offensive foul called on Shayla Straka. Wow. They say the defender for Platteville, which was nice, got the, uh, established herself. Still 11 to nine, two point ball game. Prairie Desheen up, 6.55 to play in this first half. Nice across half court. Dribble drives on Knapp, takes it in, hard foul. Holy cow. And uh, Nice goes down hard, but she gets up okay. She was double teamed and basically sandwiched as she went down the lane. That was a hard foul. Foul is going to be charge number four. Green, Greenlee Cron, her first. Team foul number seven. And the first free throw by Nice is good. One point game, 11 to 10. Prairie Desheen on top. Second attempt good. We have a tie ball game. Well, we figured it would be a good one, and it is 11 11. 
Curry to Sheen Ball. Back the other way. Knapp throws it up. Missed it. Rebound Pauler. One and done. Platteville the other way. 6.36 to go in the half. Nice. Passes it down onto the right wing to Carl. Carl. Head of the wheel. Rotates over to Nice for three. Side of the rim. No good. Rebound boarded up by Prairie. And we're going to have Nice being a little bit too aggressive. Reaching in and smacking McKenna 40. Prairie du Sheen student section. <laughs> Very vocal. Free throw. Good. It's one and one time. 40 hits the first half. As both teams now have seven team fouls, that was the second personal charge to Cameron Nice. One more from 40, and she hits it. 13-11, Prairie du Sheen by two. 6.22 to play. First half, Rob Spangler coming to you from Lancaster High School. This game also streaming on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel, so you can watch the video and hear the play-by-play -play story. A bonus tonight in a sectional semi. Pauler spots up for three, and she gets it. First three of the game. And Hillman take their first lead of the game with 5.58 to go in the half. 14-13, 40 down the lane, draws a foul for Prairie, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. First free throw by 40 is good. And 40 is... Only missed once at the free throw line. Out of five times. Sub comes in for the Blackhawks. It's number 14. That's Tanner Radloff. One more free throw for 40. Tie game, 14 apiece. Second free throw good. Now Prairie back in the lead by one, 15-14. Platteville ball, nice. Walking it up the floor. Crosses half court. Passes ahead to Blevins. Blevins. In the corner to Carl. Carl off a screen. Passes back to Blevins. Blevins, top of the key here. Swings it back to Carl. Looking for an entry. Nowhere to go. Back out. Head of the wheel to uh, Gwyneth Erickson. Now a feed down low. Nice up and under move, but Haley Weagle missed it. Rebound. Blevins gets it back and puts it up for two. <laughs> Alyssa Blevins ripped the ball away. And then put it back up for two. And it's 16-15. Platteville back by a point. Ball back over on the right wing. It is Higgins controlling from Prairie du Chien. Passes to 40. 40 out to Knapp for three. Got it! Ashlyn Knapp answers back with a Prairie du Chien three. Their first three of the night. 18-16. Blackhawks by two. 4.43 to go in the first half. Platteville ball. Nice brings it up. Swings it over to Carl. She'll drive baseline right. Cut off. Double team. Gives it out to Blevin. Rotates the ball back over to the near side to Weagle. Weagle out on the left wing. Back up top of the key to Blevins. Rotates it over to Erickson. Pass inside to Nice. Nice in the lane. Slips in. Missed it. Gets her own rebound. Put back. No good. And... Coming away with it, Prairie du Chien ball. I think Nice wanted a foul, no foul called. Knapp brings it up here for the Blackhawks, swings it off. Left wing, number 10, that's Higgins. Back out top of the key to Radloff. Passes it off to Knapp. 18-16, Prairie du Chien leading by two. Baseline drive right, no good. 40, the putback is good. McKenna 40 there for the easy garbage cleanup. 20 to 16. Prairie back by four now. Platteville, they have a seam back the other way. They expose the pressure defense, and a layup by Gwyneth Erickson is good. Well, when teams do that, when they, you know, pressure you defensively, if you can get it up in transition quick, you can make them pay, and that's what Platteville did. 20 to 18. Two-point lead, Prairie du Chien, 3.13 to go first half. Sectional semifinal, girls high school basketball here on the X-Extreme 1071. 
and on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel as well. Now almost a steal by Blevins. Getting it back is 40. Missed a shot. Rebound goes to Blevins. Nice bringing it up here for Platteville. Drives the lane. Pull up jumper. 15 feet. No good. Rebound. And we're going to have an over the back foul on Cameron. Nice, I believe. Game brought to you in part by Southwest Health, creating healthier communities through their hospital and clinics in Platteville. Clinic in Cuba City and Keeler. Find out more at southwesthealth.org. Game also brought to you by Steve Stevens, proud supporter of Platteville High School basketball. Wishing good luck and tournament success to all Platteville student athletes. 20 to 18, Prairie by two. First free throw by Cron is good. Greenlee Cron. I'm going to go on a limb and say she's the only Greenlee Cron in the world. Second free throw is good. That is a unique name. Both first and last, and she hits both free throws, 22 to 18. And seriously, if you Googled Greenlee Cron, I can't imagine there's, one, there's more than one name. Oh, turnover here on Platteville. They travel. That's their unofficially eighth turnover of the first half. And Prairie gets it back, 22 to 18. Prairie Duchesne with the lead, two and a half minutes left and change here in this first half. Knapp brings it up for the Blackhawks. Stops top of the key, passes it off. Left wing, that is to Straka. Back over to Radloff. Now to Kron. Now Higgins on the right wing. Left side, dribble drive, Straka. Back out to Kron. Kron, baseline drive. Almost lost it, kicks it back out. And now Knapp takes it in. Knapp puts it off the window, missed it. Rebound, out of bounds, last touch by Prairie Desheen. Good take by Knapp, but couldn't get it to go. Platteville basketball, 22-18. Well, Platteville was able to expose this three-quarter court press that uh, Prairie implements last time. We'll see if they can kind of do the same thing. They went down the middle and used a couple quick passes. They haven't crossed the timeline yet. They finally do, and then they turn it over. Ball's picked off by Higgins. Kicks to the corner. But we have a travel as Tanner Radloff got it in the corner and then walked with it. So it goes right back to the Hillman. 22-18, Platteville trailing Prairie. Minute 42 to go, first half. Taking the inbound for Platteville, number five. That would be Lizzie Pollard. Pollard. Facing a double team as she approaches the timeline. Gets it out to Blevins. Blevins takes it in. Throws it up off the window. Missed it. Rebound boarded up by 40. Outlet pass. Gives it off left side to Knapp. Knapp direct, directing traffic out on the left wing. Gives it to 40. 40. Head of the wheel to Radloff. Now passes off right side to Straka. Strzok it to Kron. Kron, dribble drive, back out to Knapp. Just over a minute to go, one minute remaining in the first half. 22 to 18, Prairie leading Platteville. Sectional semi, girls high school basketball. Knapp lost the handle for a moment. Somehow, Kron comes away with it, now out to 40. Ball bounded around. 40 missed a layup. Ball's loose, and Platteville comes away with the rebound. Pollard walking it up here for the Hillman. Maybe, well, we'll see if they take it up slow and look for the last possession, but Pollard looking to work. Gives it off. Out on the right wing to Weagle. Weagle threw it away. Another turnover on the Hillman, their 10th of the first half. 22-18, to 18. now Prairie has it. This may be the last possession of the half. Prairie Duchene leading 22-18 to 18 over Platteville. 15 seconds left. Top of the key controlling it, Straka. Gives it to Knapp, 10 seconds. Now to Kron, Kron. Left side, six seconds to Knapp. Knapp drives the lane, puts it up. Back of the rim, no good. Paula rebound, and that's it. Your score at halftime, 22-18. Prairie Duchene leads Platteville in high school girls basketball in this sectional semifinal. And we'll be back with the Peterson Agency halftime report next. Right after this timeout here on the X Extreme 1071 and also streaming on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel.
The mission of Apple River State Bank is to develop long-term relationships with farm customers. The bank is committed to do whatever is necessary to help your ag business be successful. Apple River State Bank will design financing solutions that are right for you. Stop by or visit AppleRiverStateBank.com for details. Or call Tim White or Jeff Millen in the Hazel Green office and see how they can add value to your ag business. Apple River State Bank, member FDIC. 24-7, 365. Myers Heating and Cooling is your trusted residential heating and cooling system service provider. Join Myers Comfort Club for peace of mind throughout the year and around the clock. Myers Heating and Cooling in Lancaster. Don't worry, we got this. Hi, this is Steve Schmidt, owner of The Shoebox in downtown Black Earth. We have thousands of pairs of shoes in stock, no waiting. So stop in anytime, specializing in size, selection, and fit. We will save you money. P.S. We measure both feet. Stop in The Shoebox, the largest shoe store at the north end of Black Earth. Pre-game three. Welcome back. It is halftime here at Lancaster High School. The Platteville Hillman taking on... The Prairie du Chien Blackhawks in a sectional semifinal in high school girls basketball. Winner gets to move on to the sectional championship and is one game from state. So this is a high stakes game. Of course, when you get to sectionals, always very high stakes. Prairie du Chien has the lead at the half, 22 to 18. Our halftime show brought to you by the Peterson Agency in Argyle where your independent agent, Brian Peterson, specializes in home farm auto and umbrella policies. Game also brought to you by Oyen Plumbing and Heating for simple maintenance or a completely new HVAC system. Get unparalleled service with Oyen. For a free estimate, call them today or check them out on the web. Also, Link Family Dental in Platteville for the best dental care for the whole family. Link Family Dental, proud supporter of Platteville High School basketball, wishing the best of luck to all Platteville student athletes. The Sports Pays, they welcome you in for ice cold beverages, order off their menu. Weekly specials include Friday night fish, Saturday night prime rib, large two topping pizzas, Sundays, the Sports Page in Belmont. Also, Terry Bush and staff at Bush Insurance in Platteville, wishing you the best of luck to the Platteville Hillman on their season this year. Shooting for their goals, Bush Insurance, strong believer in the power of dedication to being an athlete. TriStar Pallets of Highland and TriStar Mulch of Cobb of Platteville. Beautify your home, decorative colored mulch. Give Jim Drury and the gang a call. TriStar Pallets of Highland and TriStar Mulch of Cobb and Platteville. And the sports page in Belmont, they welcome everyone to stop in for some ice cold beverages. Order off their menu Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 11 to 1.30, 4.30 to 9. Also visit Saturday and Sunday, open 11 to close. And everyone at Faraday Incorporated in Platteville congratulates the Platteville Hillman basketball team on a great season. It's a great day to be a Hillman, Faraday Incorporated in Platteville. Also, Grainy Electric of Platteville, offering top-notch business, residential, and commercial electrical service. Congratulations to the Platteville Hillman girls team for a fantastic season. 22-18 is our halftime score. We'll take a break, look at halftime stats next. Prairie leading Platteville in girls basketball sectional semis here on the X Extreme 1071 and also online streaming on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel. In Trade out and trade up with the Gia Milking Performance Promotion at Fuller's Milker Center. For a limited time, trade out your old milking units and liners and immediately benefit by trading up to a better milking performance at substantial savings. Choose from the Gia IQ Milking Unit or the Classic 300E Milking Unit, both available with a GQ liner package. Plus, save if you need to swap Jetter Cups too. Contact Fuller's Milker Center, LLC, your Gia dealer in Lancaster and Richland Center to find out how you can save big trading out and trading up on new Gia Milking Equipment technology. Heads Up Salon. Sherry, Jenny, Brittany, and Sydney at Heads Up do highlights, color, cuts, burns, and new barbering services too. Heads Up Salon, North Jefferson Street, Lancaster. Offered a lump sum pension buyout? Let's talk. Contact me, Ben Reeves, CFP, your Southwest Wisconsin Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located in Platteville on Highways 80 and 81, next to Nutrition World Health and Wellness. Member SIPC. In Game 1. Rob Spangler coming to you live from Lancaster High School. It is a sectional semifinal in girls high school basketball. The Platteville Hillman taking on the Prairie du Chien Blackhawks. And welcome back to the Peterson Agency Halftime Report. 
I want to thank some more of our sponsors. We have a lot of great sponsors here tonight. Lori Dressler Real Estate. Lori Dressler Real Estate salutes the Platteville team's success this year. Make home happen with Lori Dressler Real Estate at LoriDressler.com. Also, Southwest Health, creating healthier communities through their hospital and clinics in Platteville, Cuba City, and Keeler. Find out more at southwesthealth.org. Steve Stevens, proud supporter of Platteville High School basketball, wishing good luck and tournament success to all Platteville student athletes. Oyen Plumbing and Heating for simple maintenance or a completely new HVAC system. Get unparalleled service with Oyen. For a free estimate, call them today or check them out on the web. And Link Family Dental in Platteville. For the best dental care for the whole family, Link Family Dental, proud supporter of Platteville High School basketball. Wishing the best of luck to all Platteville student athletes. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. First for the Hillman leading the way. Five points, Lizzie Pauler. Cameron Nice with four. Three for Ellie Temperley, and then two apiece for Gwyneth Erickson, Alyssa Blevins, and Haley Weagle. Turnovers unofficially at Platteville for 10 in the first half. That certainly has been a bugaboo and maybe a reason why they're down 22 to 18 at the break. Now leading the way for Prey Desheen. Their center, number 40, McKenna 40. She has nine points, leading all scores. Also, four points apiece for Sh Shayla Straka. Tana Radloff with four. Alyssa, N or Ashlyn Knapp, rather, with three. And then Greenlee Cron has two. And that rounds out scoring for Prairie. Unofficially had them for three first half turnovers. That's a look at our stats. We'll take one more break and be back to wrap up the Peterson Agency halftime report. Our score at the break 22 18. Prairie on top of Platteville in a sectional semi girls high school basketball on the X Extreme 1071. The Peterson Agency in Argyle knows if you run a business, you know the most valuable things are also the hardest to get. Your business didn't grow overnight and came from years of hard work, confidence in what you could do, and making smart decisions. That's why an insurance policy from West Bend makes sense. It protects your valuable and hard-earned business so you can focus on doing what you do best. And it's all backed by the knowledge and experience of the Peterson Agency. To find out more, contact the Peterson Agency in Argyle, 608-543-3354. Mama, what does the chicken say? Uh, mm -hmm. dog. Cat. Aww. Giraffe. Giraffe, really? Giraffe. Uh, giraffe. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff, like making sure your kids are buckled correctly in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right. Visit NHTSA.gov. Slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. In game two. Bob Spangler coming to you from the Wolf Construction Broadcast booth inside Platteville High School, or excuse me, Lancaster High School. We're in the uh, gymnasium on the stage overlooking the court. And it's halftime here, our Peterson Agency halftime report. The score, 22 to 18, Prairie Duchene on top of Platteville. We do have some other scores to share with you on our shoebox scoreboard at the half. Cuba City leading New Glarus 27-26 in a sectional semifinal girls basketball. This one may be, to me, the shocker of the night. Kickapoo leading Belmont 16 to 14 at halftime. Wow, that's another sectional semifinal. Uh, that game over on 97.7 Country WGLR from Richland Center. And uh, again, we have the Cuba City New Glarus game on Super Hits 106 tonight. We've also got men's basketball, the Badgers taking on Purdue over on ESPN Radio, AM 1590 WPVL. Don't have a scoring update on that on our Shoebox scoreboard. But again, our scores are brought to you by the Shoebox and Black Earth, largest independent shoe store in the Midwest. Game brought to you in part by Carey's Seamless Gutters and Overhead Doors of Belmont and at Carey's Gutters and Doors.com. Claire Bank, eight locations in southwest Wisconsin, proudly supporting the area's high school sports teams. Claire Bank, where they say we can do that, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Game also brought to you by Abra Auto Body Repair, division of Anderson Weber Toyota in Dubuque, powering our audio stream. Anderson Weber, when you are ready. Community First Bank, first for you, your, and the communities where you live, work, and play. Experience for yourself the difference at Community First Bank, cfbank.com, member FDIC. 
Myers Heating and Cooling, servicing Southwest Wisconsin since 1999. Myers Heating and Cooling, where they say, don't worry, we got this. And Grant Regional Health Center's ortho team, Dr. Brad Binsfeld, Nate Stoko, PAC, provide exceptional care for sports-related injuries. Grant Regional Health Center experience the difference. We're ready for second half action. Again, the score one more time on the Peterson Agency Halftime Report, 22-18. to 18. Prairie leading Platteville. And Prairie has the ball to begin the second half of play. Inbounding, half court for Prairie Desheen. It is Straka. Shayla Straka gets it into the point to Knapp, and Knapp walks it up for the Blackhawks. Passes it off, left wing to Radloff. Now over to the right side. Little pull-up jumper is good. Number 22, Tegan Radloff's first basket of the game. Radloff had some foul trouble and had her playing time cut short in that first half. Now Pollard brings it back up for the Hillman on the right wing. Drives the lane, spins, puts it up off the glass, missed it, rebound taken by Radloff. That's Tegan. Radloff gives it back to Knapp. Brings it up for Prairie. Knapp stops her dribble out near top of the key here. Over to 40. 40 has it out on the left wing. Bounce pass to the top of the key to Straka. Now, three-pointer, no good. Fired from the right side by uh, Straka. Rebound boarded up by Platteville. Nice, kicks it out. Three by Carl. Back rim, no good. She follows her shot, though, very well. Puts it back up and scores. Well, that's why you follow your shot. She missed it back iron it bounced out she came racing in from the left wing picked it up and scored ball's loose now Prairie's going to turn it over I believe or what's the call actually they're calling a foul okay so it's a foul on Platteville number 22 Madison Carl picks it up her first and first team foul in the second half for either team inbound pass taken by Prairie Ashlyn Knapp controlling the point. Swings it off left side. That's Tegan Radloff. Dribbles left. Now kicks it back out. And they rotate it to Knapp. Back out to 40. 40. She'll stop and pop from three. Banks it in and it's good. Doesn't matter if you called it. It matters if it goes in. And that's a bank shot from Midwest One Bank. You'll always score more. Simply better banking. Midwest One Bank. Member FDIC. 27-20. Prairie, now nice, other end, three. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Carl. Offensive rebound for the Hillman. Back to nice, she'll dribble right. Now bounce pass underneath. Losing it was temporarily. That'll be a turnover on the Hillman. And bringing the ball up the floor for Prairie here. It is Knapp. Swings it off to the left wing. That is Straka. Now deep into the corner to Tana Radloff, but we have a travel on 40. A rare Prairie Duchesne turnover. In this game, it's been rare anyway, just four unofficially. 27-20. Oh, they're going to change the location of the inbound. And so Madison Carl will inbound it here for the Hillman. Taking the inbound is nice. Again, facing a little bit, a little bit of pressure. They get it up to Carl. Oh, almost lost it. Gets it back. Gives it back out to Pollard. Pollard dribbles up top of the keel. Bounce pass. Backdoor cut. Nice, beautiful. Nice lays it up for two. That was a beautiful play. 27-22. Prairie leading Platteville. Prairie ball. Knapp has it. Being double teamed. Gets it back out to 40. 40 underneath. Posting up. That's got to be an up and, up and down, I would think. Or a jump ball, yeah. Now, posting up. It was Tegan Radloff, and she went up and down. The ball must have been blocked, so they called a, uh, a jump ball. So it's Hillman basketball. Carl inbounds it. Cameron Nice will bring the ball up the floor here for Platteville. Nice dribbles right. Nice screen set for Nice, and she'll take it right baseline. Now she's double team. Puts it up over two, but misses. Rebound boarded up by Prairie. Nap running in transition. Dishes it off to Tanner Radloff. Over to Knapp. Left wing. Double team. Back out to 40. 40 puts it on the floor. 
Passes it back to Tegan Radloff. Now rotates over to Knapp. Gives it back to 40. 14.25 to play in the second half. 27-22, Prairie by five. Straka drives baseline left. Kicks it back out to Tegan Radloff. Rotates it over to Tana Radloff. She's at the top of the key. Underneath, Straka puts it up, scores. Straka got great position underneath and scores close to the rim, 29-22. Prairie Duchesne to on top of Platteville. Back out, right wing. Cameron Nice working one-on-one -on -one with Knapp. Gets it back, takes it in, missed a layup. Rebound boarded up by Tegan Radloff. Prairie basketball. Platteville needed that one. Hillman have fallen behind a little bit, down seven now. Prairie du Chien, baseline drive. Taking it in is Tegan Randloff and scoring. And it's 31-22. Prairie du Chien extending the lead, and we're going to have a timeout taken on the floor by Platteville. I can see why this is a full timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. 31-22, Prairie leading Platteville here on the X Extreme 1071 and on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel. Grant Regional Health Center's ortho team, Dr. Brad Binsfeld and Nate Stoko, PAC, provide exceptional care for sports-related injuries. Grant Regional Health Center, experience the difference. Rookies, food and spirits on Highway 14 in Mazamani is the perfect chaser to your shoebox shopping experience. Like Rookies, food and spirits on Facebook for updates on dine-in, takeout, and delivery service. Rookies, food and spirits. These days, making your vehicle look right after an accident can be more challenging. Tim Thane with Abra Auto Body shares how Abra excels in this process. We have certified technicians, all the best tools you could ever ask for. All of our technicians are high cars certified and many of them have decades of experience. We work on all makes and models, pretty much anything from your standard Chevy to BMWs. We pretty much repair anything you have. Amra Auto Body, a division of Anderson Weber Toyota, when you're ready. In game three. Back from Lancaster High School sectional semifinal girls basketball. Platteville and Prairie du Chien, the third time's the charm here tonight. 31-22, Prairie leading Platteville with 13.20 to go. Second half, the Hillman taking a timeout to try and get their bearings and get their offense going. Cameron Dice has it left wing, dribble drive, jump stop, backdoor pass, underneath, powering it up as Erickson missed it, Blevins put back good. Alyssa Blevins second basket, good put back. Hillman need to score. 31-24, you don't want to fall too far behind this Prairie du Chien club that plays such good defense. You get too far behind, it's going to be very difficult to come back. And both of these teams play good D, I have to say that. Blevins with a blocking foul on Platteville. 12.44 to go in the second half. 31-24, Prairie by 7, 12.44 to play. That's a first, second team foul, rather, on Platteville in the second half. First on Blevins tonight. Make that the second on Blevins. Inbound play taken by Knapp. Gives it inside to Radloff. Out to Higgins. They rotate it over. Straka out on the left wing. Back to Knapp. Knapp dribbles up near top of the key. Bounce pass inside is tied up. I think we're going to have a jump. Yep, we do. Possession arrow favors Prairie, so they hang on. They try to force a pass inside of Tegan Radloff that time. This time, taking the entry pass, it's Tana. Tana Radloff trips and falls. Ball goes to Knapp. Prairie hangs on. Wide open. Higgins in the corner for three. Back rim, no good. Put back, no good. Rebound still loose. Collision for it. We're going to have another jump ball, I think. Yeah, jump ball. I thought they might call foul initially, but they just go with the jump. 40 checks back in for Prairie. So does Kron. Score 31-24. Prairie leading Platteville by 7. 11.58 to play in the second half. 
Holler across the timeline here for the Hillman. Passes up to Blevins. Right corner. Back out to Pollard. Pollard drives in. Dishes. Corner. It's Weagle. Weagle resets top of the key here for Platteville. Weagle working one-on-one -on, -one on Higgins. Takes it down inside. Almost got a five-second count. Back out to Nice. Nice will pop a three. Missed it. Rebound offensive board. Platteville. Nice rebound there by Erickson. Now a three by Pollard is no good. And the rebound this time goes to Prairie. Straka comes up with it. Gives it back to Knapp. Knapp pushes it up the floor ahead to 40. Splits a double team. Dishes to Higgins. Back out to Knapp. Knapp has it left wing. Back out near half court now. Gives it to Kron. In the corner, 40. Facing a double team. And she traveled. Fifth turnover of the game on... Prairie. So they have half as many turnovers as Platteville does unofficially. In this game, they have a 31-24 lead. Cameron Nice walking it up the floor here for Platteville. Still hasn't crossed the timeline. Gives it off the Weagle. She does. Now to Blevins in the corner ball. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by 40 of Prairie. Inbound play for the Hillman in front of their bench. It's Blevins. Gets it into Nice. Still 31-24. Prairie Desheen on top. Bounce pass inside. Posting up. It is Temperley and a turnaround is good. That was a tough one by Ellie Temperley. Really tough turnaround. 31-26. Prairie still on top. Platteville cutting into the lead. Five points now. In the lane, Knapp spins, layup, no good. Rebound taken by Blevins. Gets it back to Nice. Nice has it, top of the key, calling out the offense. And a reach in foul, I think, on Knapp coming up. Yeah. Game brought to you by Bytech Resource Management of Monroe, a greener way, Bytech Resource Management. Subs coming in for Prairie off the bench. You got Tegan Radloff. And let's see who else came in. I believe Tana Radloff. Platteville inbound. Erickson to throw it in. Gets it in to Carl. Madison Carl, top of the key. Bounce pass to Temperley. Temperley posting up. Gets it back out. Too nice. Now to Carl. Carl, uh, excuse me, nice rather, back to Carl. Carl fell down. Foul called. Prairie Duchene not happy about the foul call. Official says there was a push. Foul called to Knapp her second. Team foul number two in the second half. Inbound pass almost stolen, and it's tied up. And we're going to have a jump ball. Prairie gets the ball back. 31-26, Prairie Duchene leading 9.35 to play. Here in the second half. Hotly contested. Packed gym tonight here in Lancaster. Prairie and Platteville. Bitter rivals in the SWC. Prairie, of course, went undefeated in conference and claimed both wins in the regular season and looking to go three for three. Platteville trying to stop that. It's a close game so far. 31-26, Prairie. 40 has the top of the key, passes off to Knapp. Knapp trying to clear out on Cameron Nice. Now passes it back over to the right side to Tegan Radloff. Back to Tana. Entry pass underneath. Tegan draws a foul. Foul coming against Temperley. And shooting two. It's Tegan Radloff. Temperley with her third personal for Platteville. First free throw is good. 
Sub comes in. Off the bench for Platteville, it's Pollard. She'll come in for Nice. Also, Blevins checking in. She'll come in for Erickson. One more free throw here. Tegan Radloff. Second one good. Tegan now has six points. 33-26, Prairie Deschien leading. Prairie making a substitution. Straka back in. Inbound pass taken. Pauler brings it up left side off a screen. Lost a handle. It's on the floor. That'll be a turnover on Platteville. Got him for 12 unofficially. Passes up ahead. Tegan Radloff kicks it out to Kron. Top of the key. Now rotates Straka right wing. Bounce pass to 40. Gives it back to Radloff. Now to Kron. Sees a three. Missed it. Rebound Blevins. Blevins will bring the ball up the floor here for Platteville. Gives it back to Pollard. Pollard back to Blevins. Top of the key now to Carl for the Hillman. 33-26. Back door underneath. Carl posting up. Gets it. She was stuck under the hoop for a second, then kind of backed it out and was able to get the layup. 33-28. Prairie, 7.51 to play. You get the feeling this game may just come right down to the final possession. Platteville is inching their way back into it. 33-28. Prairie. 7.39 to play, sectional semifinal girls basketball game here on the X, Extreme 1071. I'm Rob Spangler from Lancaster High School. And Kron has it out on the right wing here for Prairie Desheen. Kicks it into the corner. That's Tegan Radloff. Radloff dribbling back up top of the key. Now over to Kron. Kron almost lost it. Gets it back to Knapp. Inside ball deflected and stolen. That'll be a turnover. It's stolen by Temperley and gives it to Pollard. Pollard weaves through traffic. Kicks it back over to Carl on the right side. Now to Pollard. Pollard, baseline drive right. Whoop. That one's going to be an over and, well, it's actually going to roll all the way down the floor and be a turnover on Platteville. And Prairie will get the ball right back with 6.48 to play. Timeout taken on the floor. This is a 30, so we'll keep it here. 33-28, Prairie leading Platteville. And we want to thank some of our sponsors. They include Doolittle's Pub and Eatery on the square in Lancaster, open for lunch and dinner, including hot soups and chili Tuesday through Saturday. Delicious pizza starting at 4, that's Doolittle's in Lancaster. Prairie Motorsports, Prairie du Chien, and PrairieMotorsports.com. Also, Bush Insurance, proud partner of Pekin Insurance Company. Sloan Implement, your official John Deere dealer in Bloomington, Cuba City, Montfort, and at Sloan's.com. Bob Hunhausen, Platteville Edward Jones representative, saluting our area athletes on their hard work. Bob Hunhausen, Edward Jones Investments, off Business 151 Inside Drive, Platteville. Bouse Electric, call Brad Adrian and Josh Busher at Bouse Electric in Lancaster and Fenimore, WCC Brands, Custom Apparel in Keeler and Lancaster, and finally Brian's Auto Body and Paint Specialist in Lancaster. Out of the timeout, Prairie Basketball leading 33-28. Platteville had turned it over right before the timeout was taken. Top of the key, it's Higgins for Prairie. Swings it off to the right side. That's Tanner Radloff back out to Knapp. Ball almost stolen by Blevins. Great recovery on defense by Blevins to come around and knock that ball away. 33-28. Prairie leading Platteville here with 6.27 left in the second half. Inbound play from the baseline being thrown in by Tanner Radloff. Entry pass denied by Blevins again, but Forty gets it. Now out, three-pointer from the corner, no good. Fired up by Tanner Radloff. Rebound to Cameron Nice of Platteville. Nice will bring it all the way up the floor. Dishes down to Erickson, and she lays it up for two. Gwyneth Erickson's second basket makes it a three-point game. Platteville down 33-30. And Coach Temperley is fired up, trying to fire up his troops. 
Knapp has it for Prairie Desheen, gives it off to Higgins. Bounce pass to 40. 40 in the corner, double teamed. Passes underneath, nice move. Tegan Radloff got underneath the defense and then spun and laid it up. It's 35-30, Prairie Desheen by five again. Madison Carl, top of the key here for Platteville. Looking to drive baseline right, cut off. Facing a double team. Gets it out to Blevins. Blevins back to Carl. And she'll stop and pop for three. Missed it in front of the rim. Rebound. Blevins got it, but they called a jump. Possession arrow does favor Platteville, so the Hillman hang on. 35-30. Platteville by five with 5.18 to go in the second half. Inbound to Blevins, layup, good. Alyssa Blevins scores six points for her. 35-32, back to a three-point ball game. Knapp brings it up for Prairie, passes down to 40. Long two, baseline right, no good. Rebound, bounces around, 40 gets it back. Gives it back over to Tanner Radloff, top of the key. Now to Knapp. Knapp out on the left wing. To Tanner Radloff, back to Knapp. Back to Radloff, now into the corner. Higgins, Bunce pass is stolen away. Erickson with the steal for Platteville. That's turnover number seven on Prairie, but now a turnover on Nice. It's stolen by Hannah Rad Tanner Radloff, and she lays it up for two. And it's 37-32, back to a five-point lead for Prairie. That was a costly turnover by Cameron Nice of Platteville. Nice passes it up ahead to Blevins. Platteville still in this though. Blevins will power baseline right and score. 37-34. Platteville needed that. Back to three. The deficit is three. 4.04 to play. As, uh, time is winding down in this one. Platteville needs to be very careful on those turnovers. Those and there's a steal. Here's another turnover on Prairie. This one's stolen by Nice. Nice will bring it back up for the Hillman, set up at the top of the key. Bounce pass, now to Erickson. Gets it back out to Nice. Nice just about lost the handle, gets it back. Nice will stop and pop for three and hit it! And it's a tie ball game! Cameron Nice ties it with 3.26 to play. And we have a whistle, and what do we have? A foul on the other end. It's a foul on Platteville. I believe Nice picks up the personal. No, it's Erickson, her first. Team foul number four. And Prairie inbounding from the baseline. They inbound it to number 22, Tegan Radloff. Get it back out to Knapp for three. It's in and out, no good. Rebound, Platteville. Tie game, 37 apiece, 3.13 to play. Cameron Nice bringing it up for the Hillman. Crosses the timeline. Weaving through traffic and then lost it. The other way, Knapp. Layup, good. That's our first regular field goal of the game for Knapp and a timeout taken. On the floor, full timeout. We'll take a timeout to 39-37. Prairie by two with 2.56 to go in this one. It's a barn burner. Don't go anywhere on Extreme 1071 and on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel. People State Bank is locally owned and locally managed with 20 convenient locations in southwest Wisconsin and northeast Iowa. If you're looking for a place where you're more than just a number but still have access to convenient technology, we're it. As a community bank, we're proud to support many of the local charities, county fairs, community events, and more. When you become part of People State Bank, you can be confident that you're standing with a good cause. People State Bank, community-minded, just like you. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. For residential, commercial, or ag building projects, call on Wolf Construction LLC of Lancaster. Todd Wolf and his crew pride themselves in providing full service for their customers at the highest of quality. Wolf Construction LLC of Lancaster, proud to back our local athletes. 
Which IRA is best for you? Let's talk. Contact me, Ben Reeves, your Southwest Wisconsin, Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located in Platteville on Highways 1881, next to Nutrition World Health and Wellness. Member SIPC. In Game 4. 39-37, Prairie du Chien leading Platteville by 2, with 2.56 remaining. And the Hillmen have the ball. Cameron Nice will walk it up the floor for Platteville. Passes off right side to Pollard. Sectional semifinal here. Rob Spangler from Lancaster High School. It's a good one. Three-pointer by Nice. We have a foul on the floor before the shot, I believe. It's actually on Prairie Duchene. Defensive foul on Knapp. It'll be her third. So Knapp in a little bit of foul trouble. It's not on the shot. It was actually on a screener. So it wasn't on the shooter. Platteville ball, though. They inbound it in front of their bench. Blevins takes it. Gets it back to Pollard. Pollard, top of the key here. Bounce pass right side to Weagle. Weagle off a screen. Stops her dribble. She's in trouble, and a timeout will be taken by Coach Temperley. It's a quick 30. We'll keep it here. 39-37. Two-point lead. Prairie Duchene on top of Platteville. Every possession so important here down the stretch. The game brought to you in part by these fine sponsors. Lori Dressler Real Estate. Lori Dressler Real Estate salutes the Platteville team's success this year. Make home happen with Lori Dressler Real Estate at LoriDressler.com. Also Southwest Health creating healthier communities through their hospital and clinics in Platteville clinic in Cuba City and Keeler. Find out more at southwesthealth.org. Steve Stevens is a proud supporter of Platteville High School basketball, wishing good luck and tournament success to all Platteville student athletes. And Oyen Plumbing and Heating for simple maintenance or a completely new HVAC system. Get on parallel service with Oyen for a free estimate call today and check them out on the web. Inbound taken by Platteville. Temporarily gets it back to Pollard. Now to Nice. 2.23 left in the game. Prairie has a two-point lead. Platteville basketball underneath the Blevins. Lost it for a moment. Gets it back. Puts it up and almost scored. She almost had a chance at a three-point play. Did Blevins. But she'll have two shots at the line coming up. That foul is team foul number five on Platteville. The second charge to McKenna, 40. Five on Plat or, uh, Prairie, rather, four on Platteville. First free throw is good by Blevins. Blevins, a junior, having a great game. Nine points for her. This one will make her in double figures if she can hit, and she does. Tie game, 39-39, 2.16 left. Every possession from here on out is the most important possession. You knew, you just had a feeling it'd come down to like this. These two teams, they know each other so well. Even though Prairie won both the earlier games, Platteville had kind of closed the gap, you could see. Here's a dribble drive, controlling top of the key there, Tegan Radloff. Now kicks it out to Knapp, underneath. Losing it for a second was Tanner Radloff. Now passes underneath to Tegan. Gets it out to Straka, double team to Knapp, minute 43 left. Tie game still, Tanner Radloff is fouled. Two shots at the line here with a minute 38. Tanner Radloff has not shot a free throw yet. She has six points. This is her first trip to the charity stripe. First free throw is good. So Prairie back up by a point. And checking back in for Platteville here, it is temporarily. 40-39, Prairie by one, minute 38 left. One more free throw. And uh, no good. Rebound, temporarily, but then was stripped away. It was, uh, and they're gonna call a jump ball. And the possession arrow favors Prairie Duchene. Well, timeout going to be taken on the floor. Another 30-second timeout by Platteville here with a minute 36 left. 
Boy, Temperley had it cleanly, the rebound, but then Forty came in and tied it up, almost ripped it away. They blew the whistle and called the jump ball. And Prairie gets the ball back via the jump ball. We'll keep it here as a timeout is taken on the floor. Again, our game brought to you by Link Family Dental in Platteville for the best de dental care for the whole family. Link Family Dental, proud supporter of Platteville Hillman High School basketball, wishing the best of luck to all Platteville student athletes. Everyone at Fairty Incorporated in Platteville congratulates the Hillman basketball team on their great season. A great day to be a Hillman, Fairty Incorporated, Platteville. And the sports page in Belmont welcomes everyone in. We'll get to that in a second. Time to inbound it. Prairie basketball. Straka looking, looking. Finally gets it in. 40 has it. Minute 33 to go. Back door. Straka lays it up. 42-39. Prairie by three. Platteville ball. Cameron Nice brings it up. Gives it to Pollard. Pollard drives in. Throws it up. Missed it. But she'll get two. 40 picking up the personal. You know, it just dawned on me that McKenna 40's number is 40. I wonder if that <laughs> I wonder if there's some sort of inside joke on that. 40 takes 40. First free throw is good by Pollard. I'm a little slow. One more free throw coming up for Lizzie Pollard. 42-40, two-point ball game. This would make it a one-point game if she could hit, and it is no good, but there's a rebound and a foul. Blevins had the rebound, and she was over the back fouled by Parade de Sheen. And I think it's 40 again, which would be her fourth. It is. And Platteville will get the ball back, trailing by two, and now a chance to tie it or take the lead with a three. They'll inbound from the baseline, Blevins to throw it in, left of the hoop. Blevins gets it in. Pauler, top of the key, over to Blevins on the right wing. Passes it back to Nice, minute eight to go. Nice, bounce pass. We have a timeout, wow. What a timeout because it was, the ball was almost stolen by Strocker. It was about to be stolen. And instead of timeout taken, this is a full timeout. We'll take a timeout. Actually, I'll be honest, I don't want to miss any action here. We're not taking it. We're going to keep it here. <laughs> we just, we can't afford to miss anything. This is a barn burner, folks. 42 40. Prairie leads Platteville by two, a minute three left. We'll thank some sponsors, though. They include the sports page in Belmont. Welcome everyone in to stop in Ice Cold Beverages. Order off their menu Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They're open 11 to 1.30, 4.30 to 9. Also visit Saturday and Sunday, open 11 to close. Also, TriStar Palettes of Highland, TriStar Mulch of Cobb, and Platteville. Beautify your home with decorative colored mulch. Give Jim Drury and the gang a call. TriStar Palettes of Highland, TriStar Mulch of Cobb, and Platteville. Terry Bush and the staff at Bush Insurance in Platteville. They wish the best of luck to the Hillman on their season this year, shooting for their goals. Bush Insurance, a strong believer in the power of dedication to being an athlete. Well, here we go. Platteville has the ball. They're down two with a minute three left. Every possession, the most important possession the rest of the way here. Blevins gets it into Pauler. Pauler has it on the right wing for Platteville. Ball kicked by Tanner Radloff. They'll reset the shot clock if we were in the NBA, which we're not. So they will not reset the shot clock. 58 seconds left. Inbounding it is Blevins, 42-40. Prairie on top of Platteville. Nice takes the inbound for the Hillman. Looking to attack, jump, stop, and off the window scores! Holy cow! Little Euro step, jump stop, and Cameron Nice puts it up, and we're tied at 42. 37 seconds left. Outside, Knapp has it for Prairie. Passes off to 40. Bounce pass. 40 stops her dribble. Timeout taken by Prairie with 24 seconds left. This is a full timeout, too, and again, we're not... 
We're not taking it. We're going to keep it here. I just, we just can't. I ain't missing a second of this one. Sports page is sponsored. They welcome you in for ice cold beverages. Order off their menu. Weekly specials include Friday night fish, Saturday night prime rib, large shoe topping pizza, Sundays, the sports page in Belmont. Also, Lori Dressler Real Estate. Lori Dressler Real Estate salutes Platteville's team this year. Make home happen with Lori Dressler Real Estate at lauridressler.com. Southwest Health creating healthier communities through their hospital and clinics in Platteville. Clinics in Cuba City and Keeler. Find out more at southwesthealth.org. Steve Stevens, proud supporter of the Platteville High School basketball team, wishing good luck, tournament success to all Platteville student athletes. OEN Plumbing and Heating for simple maintenance, completely new HVAC systems, and more. Get unparalleled service with OEN. For a free estimate, call them today or check them out on the web. And Link Family Dental in Platteville, for the best dental care of the whole family. Link Family Dental, proud supporter of Platteville High School basketball, wishing the best of luck to all Platteville student athletes. Tie game, 42 apiece, 24.6 seconds left. Prairie inbounding, baseline, right of the hoop. Strzokka to throw it in. Gets it in, wide open, layup, good. Tegan Radlaw. 19 seconds left. Lizzie Pauler falls down, but a timeout is taken by Platteville with 15.1 seconds left. Boy, I, I got to give credit here. Credit has got to go to Brandon Temperley, the head coach for Platteville. He has saved the Hillman from two turnovers on timeout calls. He has called timeouts at just the right moment where Platteville was about to turn it over. And that was a huge one right there. So Platteville hangs on. They trail by two. 15.1 seconds left. You know, I'm almost wondering, do you go for the win? You know, this Prairie du Chien team, they've beaten you twice. One shot, you can beat them, a three. If you milk that clock, work a screen, get off a perfect three-pointer, you could win this game right now if you're Platteville. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but... I almost wonder if that isn't the thought, but we'll see. Maybe they'll just try and tie it up and try to get to overtime. What a game. Thanks for joining us. Of course, we're streaming this one on our YouTube channel as well, but here on X Extreme 1071. Inbound play coming. Temperley to throw it in for Platteville. Gets it to Nice. Nice has it. 13 seconds left. A screen is set. Nice. Lost it. That's a turnover, and now a foul on Platteville with 6.1 seconds, and boy, that might be it, folks. Nice loss to dribble. Turned it over. That stifling Prairie du Chien defense forcing a turnover. It's a non-shooting, actually, yeah, that was a sixth team foul, so uh, no one-on-one -one bonus shooting. Prairie will inbound it here. Platteville will have to foul immediately or try to get a steal. Timeout taken by Prairie du Chien. Again, 6.1 seconds left. This is, I think, a full timeout. It doesn't really matter because we're not, we're not leaving this one. We're going to keep it here. Never know what's going to happen here, but 6.1 seconds left. Platteville has got to get either a steal on this inbound or a foul immediately. But even if they do that, then they've got to hope that Prairie misses at least one of the two free throws to have a chance to tie it. So those are the stakes. Game brought to you by Mount City Bank's total line of credit. Oh, we do have a final on the shoebox scoreboard. Cuba City knocks off New Glarus 56-50. So the Cubans move on to a sectional championship game. Congratulations. Mount City Bank, by the way, again, they allow you to use the equity in your home to do the things you want. Stop in a Mount City Bank to apply. Offer subject to approval. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Learn more at mountcitybank.com. So Prairie will inbound it here. With 6.1 seconds left. Blackville has got to either get a steal or a foul. They get a foul. 5.3 on Tana Radloff. 
who will shoot the one and one. Here with 5.3 seconds left. So if Radloff hits both halves, this game is pretty much over with. If she only hits one, Platteville has a chance. Obviously, if she misses the first one and Platteville gets a rebound, then they definitely still have a chance. The officials talking it over here. At the free throw line again, Tana Radloff for Prairie. Prairie leading 44-42. 5.3 seconds left. First half of the one and one is no good. Platteville, it's loose actually. And do we have a foul on Prairie? I believe we, or no, they just say yes. Hold on, confused, yes, no, there's a foul. And this puts Platteville at the free throw line with a chance to tie the game. So boxing out on the play, it was Ellie Temperley and Temperley was pulled down by 40, who picked up her fifth foul, and I think 40 is fouled out. Yes, 40 is fouled out of the game. So 40 is done. Straka in for her at the line, though. One and one. Temperley, first one. No good. Rebound, Prairie. Two seconds and a foul with 1.2, and that will probably do it. Boy. Platteville had a chance. They had a chance. But Prairie Desheen is going to escape, it looks like. You hate to say off missed a missed free throw, but that's what it's looking like. First free throw by Higgins is good. That makes it a three-point game with 1.2 seconds left. If she hits this, it's game over. And if she misses, Platteville would have to call an immediate timeout. She hits it. That's it. Platteville cannot tie it with a three. They're down four. So both free throws go down. Inbounding for Platteville here. It is Erickson gets it to Blevins who will shoot a three at half court, missed it, and that's it. Your final score, 46-42. Prairie Desheen, victorious over Platteville for the third time. The third time is the charm for the Blackhawks. Platteville season comes to a close, but it was a great effort by Platteville. Almost, almost got him. The Prairie Conference champs We'll move on to the sectional championship. And we'll be back with our Culver's Cooldown postgame show coming up next here on the X Extreme 1071 and streaming online on our Queen Bee Radio YouTube channel. In game five. If you're a farmer, working with a bank that truly cares for its customers is important. When you deal with Apple River State Bank, you have access to a unique combination of experienced bankers and hometown service. Stop by or visit AppleRiverStateBank.com for details. Or call Tim White or Jeff Millen in Apple River State Bank's Hazel Green office and see how they can add value to your ag business. Apple River State Bank. Member FDIC. Grant Regional Health Center's ortho team, Dr. Brad Binsfeld and Nate Stoko, PAC, provide exceptional care for sports-related injuries. Grant Regional Health Center. Experience the difference. Heads Up Salon. Sherry, Jenny, Brittany, and Sydney at Heads Up do highlights, color, cuts, burns, and new barbering services too. Heads Up Salon, North Jefferson Street, Lancaster. In game five. Final score tonight. Prairie Duchene knocks off Platteville 46-42. A four-point ball game. And it was really a two-point ball game. Platteville had a chance to potentially tie it up and uh, just couldn't. We'll, uh, we'll tell you all about that on the post-game story recap. This is the Culver's Cooldown post-game show. It's brought to you by our friends at Culver's. 
Culver's has locations in Dubuque, Galena, and Platteville. A great place to go after the game. Game also brought to you by Russell Law Offices, here to assist you with your local legal representation. Call for a consultation to discuss estate planning, family law, criminal defense, probate, and administration, personal injury, and more. Proudly serving Southern Wisconsin Russell Law Offices. We'll take another time out and be back to recap scoring, look at uh, other scores from around the area in sectional semifinals tonight, and we'll recap the game. That's all coming up next here. Our final again, 46-42 Prairie over Platteville in girls' uh, sectional semifinal basketball on Extreme 107-1 and on the Queen Bee Radio Sports YouTube channel. Comedy icon Chris Rock is performing his next stand-up special live on Netflix. Selective Outrage airs on Saturday, March 4th, starting with a Netflix is a joke pre-show where comedians count down live to Chris taking the stage. Grab your friends and have a watch party. Use hashtag Chris Rock Live to join the conversation everyone's going to be having. Don't miss what Chris Rock will say in Netflix's first ever live stand-up special. Pre-show coverage starts at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, and Chris Rock goes on at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. It's this knee. You know, the brand new Galaxy S23 Ultra is finally here. Get ready to capture wow worthy content day or night. Take on the day with the highest camera resolution on a smartphone. Plus, with stunning nightography, it's easy to shoot stellar photos, videos, and selfies no matter the lighting. Make every moment epic with the best in class camera of Galaxy S23 Ultra. Take advantage of amazing carrier offers now at Samsung.com. In game six. We're back on the Culver's Cool Down post game show brought to you by Culver's in Platteville, Dubuque, and Galena. Final score tonight 46 42. Prairie Duchene knocks off Platteville in this sectional semifinal. So the Prairie Duchene Blackhawks move on to the sectional championship game. They will face the winner of Lake Mills and Wapan. That was a one-two seed matchup in the other bracket. Uh, if we get a scoring update on that one, we'll pass it along to you. Speaking of scoring updates, we do have some scores on our Queen Bee Radio, or on our um, shoebox scoreboard, I should say. On Queen Bee Radio, yeah, the shoebox scoreboard brought to you by the shoebox and Black Earth, largest independent shoe store in the Midwest. Um, Aquinas beat Bangor tonight, 64 to 39. So that's Cuba's next opponent. Cuba City beat New Glarus, 56 to 50. That was a final earlier tonight. Uh, again, our final here, uh, 46 to 42, uh, with Prairie Duchene uh, winning over Platteville here tonight. We'll take another time out. Be back with uh, our post-game stats. Uh, coming up right after this break here on the X Extreme 1071. To everyone who needs a little delight in their day, let our team member Paul yes. tell you about uh, one of like our favorite sweet Aquinas treats. Aquinas Making Bangor special moments at mealtime is a tradition in Wisconsin. And what better way to sweeten your day than a Culver's creamy, fresh frozen custard and your favorite mix-ins? We handcraft every concrete wow. mixer exactly the way you like. From caramel to your favorite candies like Butterfinger. Come to Culver's and let us make your day a little bit sweeter. From, From Wisconsin, Wisconsin with love, love, welcome to Delicious. Culver's in Platteville, Dubuque, and Galena. Grant Regional Health Center's ortho team, Dr. Brad Binsfeld What's and Nick Stoko, PAC, provide exceptional care for sports-related injuries. Grant Regional Health Center, experience the difference. I don't. 24-7, 365. Myers Heating and Cooling the is your trusted residential heating and cooling system there. service provider. Join Myers Comfort Club for peace of mind throughout the year and around the clock. Myers Heating and Cooling in Lancaster. Don't worry. Then maybe call this. the school. In game yep. seven. Culver's Cooldown post-game show tonight here on the X Extreme 1071. That is WPBL FM Platteville. Also streaming on our mobile app on Alexa and at X1071.com. And tonight we're streaming on our uh, video on our Queen Bee Radio's YouTube channel. Of course, all the action is over with, but Prairie wins over Platteville 46-42, the final in the sectional semifinal. And let's take a look at post-game stats for you next. 
We'll start with the Platteville Hillman leading the way for Platteville. Alyssa Blevins off the uh, 10 points. Or excuse me, I'm sorry. Cameron Nice actually led the way. She had 11 points. Blevins, though, had a sensational second half. Eight points in the second half. She finishes with 10. But Cameron Nice actually the leading scorer. 11 points for Cameron. She's a senior, so she goes out uh, with this loss, but giving maximum effort. Uh, Blevins with 10 points. Other scores for the Hillman. Six for Lizzie Pauler. Five for Ellie Temperley. And then uh, four for Gwyneth Erickson and Madison Carl. Two for Haley Weagle in the game, and that rounds out scoring for Platteville. Unofficially had them for 16 turnovers. For Prairie Duchene leading the way. 12 points, McKenna 40, their post player. She came up big, had nine of those 12 in the first half. Also 10 points for Tegan Radloff, nine for Tana Radloff, eight for Shayla Straka, five for Al Ashlyn Knapp, and then two for Greenlee Cron off the bench. Prairie Desheen unofficially had them for nine turnovers in the game. So, you know, again, roughly half, a little bit more than half of uh, the turnovers that Platteville had. But again, our final score, the stat that counts, 46-42, Prairie over Platteville tonight from Lancaster High School. We'll take another time out and be back to wrap up our Culver's Cool Down postgame show. That's coming up. You give 110% at work and in the game. So why not give 110% to get a beautiful, healthy smile? Schedule your routine checkups and any major dental care at Cuba City Family Dental and Keeler Family Dental. They'll help you maintain a beautiful smile, along with daily brushing and flossing for healthy teeth and gums. Call today to schedule your checkup. And if you have any problems with your teeth, make an appointment with Cuba City Family Dental and Keeler Family Dental. Keep smiling, Tri-States. Hi, this is Christine Raleigh of Raleigh Cheese, wishing all area athletes successful seasons. Cheese is a great source of protein for school lunches or a snack before the big game. Stop in and try some of our award-winning artisan cheeses like Dunbarton Blue, Red Rock, and Little Mountain. We have fresh cheese curds weekly and a wide variety of snacks and beverages, plus made-to-order cheese trays. Shop locally and taste the difference of handmade Wisconsin cheese at Raleigh Cheese House on the corner of Highways 11 and 23 Shellsburg. In game eight. It's the Culver's Cooldown postgame show brought to you by Culver's in Dubuque, Galena, and Platteville. Platteville's season comes to an end tonight at 20 and 7. They fall to rival Prairie Desheen for the third time this season. The third time was the charm for the Blackhawks as they uh, win all three matchups. This one, though, a tight one, 46-42, the final. And we'll uh, give you kind of the game story and the Tricor turning point of the game coming up on our post-game show here in just a moment. Game brought to you by Carey Seamless Gutters and Overhead Doors of Belmont, and it carries guttersanddoors.com. Let's see if we have any updates on the shoebox scoreboard. Uh, here's the finals we did have, so... Cuba City defeated New Glarus tonight, 56 to 50. That was over on our sister station, Super Hits 106. Mark Evenstad had the call on that one. So Cuba will move on, and they will face Lacrosse Aquinas next, who beat Bangor 64-39. Uh, the last score we had on Belmont, Belmont was taking on Kickapoo over on 97-7 Country tonight. Uh, the score at half, 16 to 14, with Kickapoo actually leading. And now we have a final. Belmont does beat Kickapoo. All right. I, was, I would have been very surprised if Belmont hadn't won that game. So Belmont defeats Kickapoo. That was a low-scoring defensive slugfest. 34-24 was the final. So holy cow. <laughs> when you're scoring in the 20s, that is, uh, that is some uh, lock-tight defense by Belmont. But again, the final 34-24, Belmont beats Kickapoo. So just got a scoring update on the shoebox scoreboard for that. And then our final, 46-42, Prairie over Platteville. We'll take another break. Be back uh, with our turning point and more coming up next here on Extreme 1071. Looking to upgrade your dairy facilities? Connect with Fuller's Milker Center and explore the many options in designing, installing, and maintaining a modern dairy facility. On top of the widest selection of high-quality dairy equipment, Fuller's Milker Center offers a complete line of parts and service to keep you milking. 
That's Fuller's Milker Center in Richland Center, Lancaster, and at fullersmilkercenter.com. Call Mike or Ronnie at Fuller's. Your modern dairy facility is waiting for you. Fuller's Milker Center. Astria is bringing reliable fiber internet service to Platteville and making more connections every week. With speeds up to 1 gig and dedicated 24-7 support staff, they're ready to make your life better. Construction is progressing in the north part of town, and they're scheduling installations for eligible addresses. Visit Astria 